is this what you people do nowadays like in school i thought school was for learning i don't know that you people do all these type of things in, in school respect you guys are doing a lot who are we we call what you currently think and then everybody touch us I know you're feeling me, you know I'm feeling you, so what are we here for you? Hey fancy, oh yeah fancy, I know they can see, last time see, I can't face time, just you know the place for tea in my relationship, yeah I can put you on love though, I put you body on love, let me, you should let me know, and if you don't know, then I feel let me, I better you let me. Every time the sun goes down, I've been little parent, tonight I have something wonderful. My bad habits live to wait nice daddy Conversations with a stranger I barely know It's true, it's true my bad habits live to you Ooh. Okay so, Hi guys Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm Natasha Yeah so Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, do all the nice stuff Yeah So today's video is a very exciting and very different video because i haven't done anything like this before and <laughs> if you can't tell by the title i'm going to be revealing y'all's secrets so y'all told me your dirty nasty crazy juicy secrets and i'm going to be revealing it <laughs> don't worry it's going to be anonymous so your names are not going to be revealed or should i don't worry i don't even know your names because it was and anonymous stuff so yeah i don't know why i'm so excited for this video okay so i'm not going to be judging you guys i'm just going to be giving my take on whatever you guys said yeah it may sound like i'm judging but i'm not because i don't really care it's your life so feel free okay so let's jump right into today's video without wasting any freaking time okay so you guys i got a few and you guys if you're not following me on my instagram make sure you go follow me right now i mean put it the the handle down below you see it on this way go follow me because i don't know what you're doing if you're not following me Thank you very much. So, hey, hey, hey. I'm nervous for you guys. Who hope you would not go all out, yeah. Okay. So the first secret is. So I was playing truth or dare with some friends, yeah. I was there to do stuff to my best friend's boyfriend. To be honest, at that. At that time, I forgot they were even dating, so I went ahead to do the things I was dead to do. Wow. Wait, how can you forget that your best friend and her boyfriend were dating? That's a lie to me. If you ask me, I feel like you're lying. Because you must have known your best friend. Uh -uh. <laughs> but wait, how can you say you do not know that your best friend and her boyfriend were dating? Did you tell her? Did you tell her? I feel like this was a game and her boyfriend was also part of the game. That one is not your, it's your business because she's your best friend for crying out loud. You forgot they were even dating. Ha. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Let me read this to the game. So I was playing truth or dare with some friends. I was there to do stuff to my best friend's boyfriend. To be honest, at that time, I forgot they were even dating. So I went ahead to do the things I was there to do. First of all, you cannot tell me that you forgot that your best friend and her boyfriend were dating. At least, if my best friend is dating somebody, I will know. I see your best friend. If you forgot, ah, no, no. Don't know what your boyfriend to even be playing truth or dare self. That boyfriend, hmm. that boyfriend, don't know. 
So going on to the next secret. <laughs> I had to ask this girl out before I could have sex with her. After that, I ghosted her. I don't feel bad though. She was a hoe. Ha. Hey. <laughs> Let me read it again. I had to ask this girl out. I had to ask this girl out before I could have sex with her. After that, I ghosted her. I don't feel bad though. She was a hoe. First of all, hoes, they have feelings too. Just so you know. And you are, you are a bad person. <laughs> Honestly, you are a bad person. You had to ask her out just to have sex with her. And you ghosted her after it just because she was a hoe. Wow. You are now, you are the same. You are even worse than her. Honestly, if you ask me. I'm not judging you. <laughs> but this is my take. This is what I feel. I'm just airing out my opinion. Because you told me your secrets. <laughs> okay. So, is that not nice at all? It's not nice. I feel like you should. If this happened a long time ago, then forget it. But if it's recent, I feel like you should apologize for ghosting her. Why? I don't know. They all are. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Okay, so this one is a personal one. Hmm? Okay. Somebody said, this one is so new. Somebody said, on Omega, such a nice person. I never noticed it until I was a bit close to you. The way you talk, your personality, your advice. Christopher will be very lucky to have you as a friend. You both are really amazing. So if you don't know, Christopher is my best friend. Yeah. And thank you very much. You know, I'm a very misunderstood person, honestly. Many people don't like me, if you ask me. <laughs> but this is nice to hear. I'm glad. I'm glad you noticed I'm a nice person. And I'm glad you like my personality. And I'm glad you like the way I talk. Because somebody said you have a great personality. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the people that are writing compliments. But is that what I told you people to write? <laughs> okay, thank you, Sha. So somebody said I had sex with my cousin. <laughs> I feel bad for you like honestly I feel bad I feel terrible wait is it that you did not know that it was your cousin that you did it and you found out later that it was your cousin ha ha <laughs> Um, I was not expecting this. I swear I was not. I just said with your cousin. Why? Wait, you see that you not see other people. Like other fine guys or girls. It was only your cousin that tie your eye. Respect. Respect. <laughs> I respect you honestly. Somebody said I fell in love with someone who doesn't give a fuck about me. I still love her. Though even though I am hundred percent sure I have no chance with her. Wow. Well, if you are sure you are like, if you're 100% sure, like, you have no chance with her, then I feel like you should just move on. Stop. Stop talking to her for a while. Like, cut her communication, whatever. Because if you keep communicating with her, the feelings will continue to grow. And it will be very hard for you to move on. So just... Don't talk to her for a while. That's my own advice. So. 
So if you fell in love with her and she doesn't give a fuck about you, it's it's clear, it's quite clear what you should do, Sha. Don't even hesitate, just chill on the talking to her. Yeah. That, but that's just how life is, so honestly. That's how life is. You are liking somebody. That person does not like you. Somebody is liking you. You don't like the person. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how life is, basically. So, somebody said, I slept with my boyfriend's best friend. Wait. You know that your boyfriend's best friend, people deserve each other. Jesus. That's bad. That's terrible. On all levels. Like, see. Ha. Ha. No, no. No, 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 no. And does your boyfriend know? Like, I have so many questions. Is it that, that you knew your boyfriend's best friend before you go started dating or your boyfriend was the one that introduced his best friend to you like that's very terrible you should not be doing that tell your i don't know if you happen a long time ago i don't i don't know i don't want to talk because i feel like if it happened a long time ago if maybe you have already learned your lesson, you have already uh, moved on from it. You should not tell him. But if it's recent, I feel like you should tell him. So your boyfriend will know the kind of girlfriend and best friend that he has. I'm not judging. <laughs> but that's not nice, honestly. That, that's that's not nice. That's not nice. No. You should not be doing that if you're asking. Don't do that. No. I once filmed my baby cousin and no one knows up to now. <laughs> you saw your baby cousin. Was it down the stairs or just like their mistake? Or purposely? <laughs> it was purposely. Ah. Don't want to. Ah. You don't want to kiss somebody's child. So I got pregnant and got rid of it about two years ago. Do you think I should tell my mom now? Got pregnant and you got rid of it without telling anybody, like without telling your parents. That must have been very hard. I'm I'm sorry. I must have been very hard, but should you tell her? If you feel like, if you are feeling guilty, like if you are feeling guilty, I feel like you should tell her. But if you have completely moved on, then I don't know. I feel like two years ago is far off. Ha! Huh. How did you look up? Like, don't say. I once gave a blow job in class with a teacher teaching. First of all, there are so many things wrong with this thing I just said. Why are you giving blow job in class? Why are you giving blow job while the teacher is teaching? Is this what you people do? Nowadays, like in school, I thought school was for learning. I don't know that you used to do all these type of things in, in school. And for you to say, well, a teacher was teaching, it means you are a secondary school student, and that's just wrong. That's just wrong on so many levels like, so many levels. Is that what see? This and that, you will fail, you will say the future cannot teach. Hmm. Okay, um, don't do that again. Um. <laughs> That's bad, honestly. If I'm being honest, it's bad. Ha. You guys, you guys are doing a lot. You guys are doing a lot. You guys are doing a lot. But honestly, um, you guys should relax. 
It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Relax. That's all I have to say. It's enough. It's enough. Calm down. It's okay. The next one is I ate my shit once, just a little do. Wait. Was it that your it was smelling nice? <laughs> or you're just like, let me just let me taste it now. This thing that is coming out from my butt, let me just put it in my mouth. Cause I don't understand. That's nasty. That's bad. Even if it's small. <laughs> uh uh. God. What have I seen today? I'm like, if I hope you don't kill me. Okay, so this person said, I dated my best friend's boyfriend while they were still together. They broke up and were still together. And she found out a while ago and now she's and now she's so pissed. Huh? Ah, people should relax. It's enough. Hey, you dated your best friend's boyfriend while they were still together, and you knew that they were still together. And wait, do you know? Do you know the thing that is annoying me? In this like in this whole sentence is the fact that you said your best friend. You are still calling that person your best friend. You dated your best friend's boyfriend while they were still together they broke up and you are still dating and you are telling me she found out a while ago and now she's so pissed if it were you what will you do i feel like see when we are doing things eh, as human beings we don't have to think about the other person put yourself in her shoes and tell me how you would feel if you were her like it's bad that's terrible you and her boyfriend People need to be locked up. You people need to be locked up. That's that's terrible. No. If see, if I'm your best friend, eh, I will delete your number. I will block you everywhere. And it's the fact that people are still dating that is even getting to me. Like I don't understand. How could you even do that? It's the fact that you knew, you knew, you knew they were dating. Oh, ha! No, 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 no. That's wrong, now. Nah. That's wrong. No, don't do that. So is this what you people do? Somebody said, I told my friend's mom about everything she was doing and she still doesn't know I was the one that told her mom. But as a friend, you betrayed her. In as much as you thought you were being nice, that's very wrong. Don't do that. You should have called her. Oh, hey. I like what you're doing. No, this thing that you're doing is bad. It's not good. Even if you have told her before, it's not your business. And if you care, you keep on telling her. How are you going to report to her mother? No, no. Nah. Ah, God. No, don't do that. And wait, wait, you're not feeling guilty. I just want to ask you one question. You're not feeling guilty. <laughs> okay. This person said I had a crush on someone my best my friend was dating. You know this one, it's not it's not so bad, Sha. It's not that bad. If it's just a crush, like you know you did not actualize your like you did not tell him that oh I like you or her oh I like you. That's not bad. You cannot control your feeling sometimes so this one is not bad it's not bad honestly but this thing it could cause like serious tension in your friendship pool. like say your friend knows that oh you like her boyfriend I hope she don't know Sha I hope she did not know but this one is not so bad somebody said sometimes at night I just cry. That, that's very sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That's very, very sad. But 
Is it that you just cry? You don't have any reason, or you have reasons why you're crying? Mm. That's sad, honestly. That's really sad. But there was a time when I used to do like that. Like I'll just start crying. But I knew why I was crying. At least you should maybe you should have a reason. I don't know. Yeah, that's it for today. We have come to the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you want a part two, comment down below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the nice stuff, and follow me on Instagram so you can participate whenever I drop in any thing like this. So yeah. We've come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, honestly, because I actually enjoyed it. You guys are a handful. Of Thank you all for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I post this one.